Um, yeah, so the next character we have is uh, Chaucer, Jeffrey Chaucer. Chaucer. <laughs> and so uh, he was great. Paul Bettany, obviously Vision, we know him as that. Uh, the albino monk in the Da Vinci Code. Uh, tremendous, tremendous actor. But when he took on this role, this was like his first like big role, I think, that he took on in American. I think he might have done some stuff over in England. Um, yep. But he's a tremendous actor, uh, smart, well-spoken. He's got to have an arrogance about him because he's sarcastic. He's witty. You know, you like him. He's that that jerk friend. Like you like him. He's a jerk. Like I'm that guy. He's the jerk friend that you like because he's kind of a jerk friend. Yeah. Um, and so he's jerky to certain people. Um, so yeah. So I'll be honest with you. So I know we're gonna do re- almost recasted, and there's gonna be people that we talk about. But I had to bring up that I really, really, really wanted Tom Hiddleston for this role. I thought he would be Ooh. spot on, beautiful for this role. But it's just gonna cost me too much. I can't afford that now that he's blown up and he's doing his own TV series as Loki. I'm not gonna be able to afford him. Yeah, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought him, but that would have been magical. Because yeah, yeah. personality-wise, oof. Yeah. But I ended up going with Jesse Spencer. So Jesse Spencer uh, played Dr. Chase in the TV show House. Uh, he's from Australia. Um, he's Matthew Casey in Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med. So he does a lot of Chicago shows. Um, but yeah, when you Chicago see him, he's, yeah, he's, he's a good-looking guy. He's fit, um, blonde hair. He looks similar. Uh, and I was trying not to go based on just looks, but his demeanor even in house is again he's a very very smart he knows he's smart he carries himself with a confidence and an arrogance so i just thought he'd be good first all right so uh, it's been a long time since i've seen house um but i really did enjoy the show um and and i'm i'm sure that you know you picked an actor um that is going to crush the role um but i remember seeing you recently actually uh, mentioned house on twitter you've been very active on twitter as recast 2.0 that's that's awesome I do, and I, I am a huge, huge fan of House and Hugh Laurie, and it's weird to see Hugh Laurie do anything other than House because he's British, and so he has a British accent, yeah. and so anytime I see him with his normal accent, I'm like, wow, he sounds weird. Just do your House accent. Yeah, I think that's one of the, the first kind of accents that threw me when I was like, wait, that's not how he really talks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my Chaucer um, is... Um, I mean, loved the role um, that Bettany played. Um, I mean, seeing the dude naked in the movie was just like, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, but, I mean, he's, he's hilarious. And when you find out why he was nude and, and why he ends up being nude again and, um, you know, just the struggles the dude has. But he, he definitely has so much smarts about him. He has a way with words. Um, and uh, so I'm not really sure where you would peg him age-wise. But I'm going to go ahead and fully admit, I'm going to come out here in front of it, that I'm picking a guy that's probably a bit younger than what the target age is. Um, And I'm going with an actor named Cole Sprouse. And you originally saw him in Big Daddy. That's the little kid in Big Daddy. Um, And and, uh, more recently, um, he's in a show called Riverdale. Um, And uh, he's in a, a bit of a lead type role on there. I mean, he was also in The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody on there, him and his brother um because they're twins um but um plays a bit of a more adult um darker role um in the riverdale show but i think looks wise i think he could certainly do it and um in the riverdale show he plays a bit of a a, a, i'm better than you swagger uh he he has that swagger um so I, i just think um maybe not a home run as far as my casting goes but i think looks wise he'd be okay um, and then um, I think he's got the confidence. So I'm excited to give one of those kind of more unknowns um, a chance to really blow up. Yeah, I'll be yeah. interested to see it as well. And I think that he fits the criteria of what we're looking for in terms of the established actor. He's somebody who's trying to kind of blow up a little bit more. Last time I saw him, he was actually Ross's son on Friends. So that's the last time I saw him. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, yeah. The, the Riverdale show isn't bad. Um, it has like Archie and um, like I think some of the like, – newspaper comics like the whole yeah, art jughead veronica yep uh so um i i think uh cole sprouse actually plays jughead okay um but um it's actually a decent show i i'd, I'd give it a, a watch if uh you know you're ever interested i think i might check it out i've heard interesting things about it that it is very dark and they have to like that kind of you know because it's not like the comic itself was kind of lighthearted and this is yeah. not, it's like, you know, there's drugs and sex and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So some more, uh, some more recent kind of teen aspects to it. Uh, so, or, or young adult, uh, aspects to it, but definitely I'd, I'd recommend the first couple of seasons to at least get an idea of who this character and other characters could be. 